to all you droppers out there. Today I'm going to talk about the Unbox figure which they released uh, a couple of months back. It was pre-order and it actually arrived uh, yesterday. It's the Dread figure, the quite large statue and it's from the design work of Mick McMahon, one of the best Dread artists out there and a very nice chap to boot. So it arrived yesterday, yesterday morning by the courier. Now oh, that was the outer packaging. So I was well chuffed because I knew it must be quite big inside of the box. I knew the size of the statue, but I like the packaging looked good when you saw that on the on their website. And it was pretty damn good. So that's that's how big the box was inside the packaging. So you can see, and it was protected, but it was completely sealed up with a lot of bubble wrap, so there was no way it would get damaged at all. Do you hear that? PCS toys appeared uh, one, two, three, four to five times as much for your statues. And both the statues that I've arrived with now, the boxes have been damaged. Yeah. So a company that does better statues in my opinion, and their boxes and statues don't turn up damaged. So anyway, on to this. The Unbox Industries Dread statue. Will be massive dread badge on the front, and as you can just probably see the reflections, the dread badge is actually a gloss, while the rest of the cover, apart from that bit there, is a matte finish. That's quite nice. I'll actually be taking this to Lawgiver, uh, which is Lawgiver 3, which is this May. Or if you're watching this years in the future, it was a May in 2016. And we get Mick McMahon to sign this box somewhere. It'd be easy to do it on the map, I think, somewhere. Anyway. It's got his artwork all around it, uh, famous images there, and another famous image, that one there where he defeated the cursed earth. We've also got artwork on the top, on the bottom, and I've took it out already for ease of showing you, but also the artwork continues in the flaps. A lot of uh, companies, it just suddenly turns white after the, the, the lip sort of goes over. So that's really quite nice. Uh, also on the back, as you can see, it shows what you've got inside, inside, dread, super detailed, dread shield, and you've got different lawgivers. Uh, you've actually got three lawgivers in here, two Mark 1s, and no, it isn't the one with the top magazine. It's just a different version, slightly um, less detailed. Um, so you've got the information here, which you'll see, I'll probably do a, a, on my Sarah Dread blog, I'll probably put this up with some pictures of close-ups. You've got McMahon, his character's all spiky lines and outsized boots. Mick McMahon co-created perennial 2008 favourites, the VCs, and provided Thag with many classic episodes of Judge Dredd, Robusters, ABC Warriors, and The Slain. You've got Outside of the Galaxy Creators comic, he drew an adventure with the original Cybermen for Doctor Who magazine, Sonic the Hedgehog for Sonic the Comic, and in America, issues of Batman Legends of the Dark Knight, plus the miniseries Tattered Banners and The Last American, the latter co-created with living legends John Wagner and Alan Grant. I'll put the living legends there because they are. And you've got a nice bit here. This is the new Judge Dredd logo from the magazine and they're using it all, uh, to promote Dredd a bit more now. 2008 logo there. Ooh, look, it's not covered. Although, as you can see, I'm pretending I'm on the comic because I'm covering the logo. That's a little in-joke to a few people. So, very nice, very nice box there. Nice to see that a lot of design works on everything. And this is how you get the actual package inside. Right, so it turns up like that inside. You pull it out, press stood it together, as you can see. So I've under the press stood for it to be easier to see. That's how it comes inside. So you've got already one arm on with the highly detailed lawgiver, and then the Mark II there, and another Mark I. So we'll take him out. Now, I did a trial run of this earlier and I didn't realise this was magnetised, the base, so that's quite nice. So, lovely dread shield, very light this is. On the back it's got Judge Dread and Rebe uh, Rebellion, all rights reserved, unbox. I don't know if you can see that, but you'll see it in the pictures. Lovely design there, put that there. And there he is, there's Dread. Really nice design work. I know some people have complained about the ankles. That's how he was drawn by Nick McMahon. 
You're not complaining about the big boots, are you? Just the ankles. Strange that. Oh, this is this is the style of Mick McMahon from his early days doing his red. Really, really nice. Also, as mentioned, you've got spare lawgivers. You just take the arm off like that. And this is virtually a miniature version of the Planet Replicas. It's so good. Really nice. And you compare that to the other Mark one lawgiver. Slightly longer barrel, as you can see. And it's on the, the numbers for the round settings, it's five on that. Just, um, you can see the differences. So I can okay. There. That's, that's nice. That was a little surprise, that, because I knew the Mark II was going to be in. And again, very nicely detailed there. I'll do some close-up pictures of those. Put that back on his wrist. So yeah, as you can see, it's got a nice shine to the helmet. For now, for now. And look at that. Those are lightning flashes. Now, pop culture shock toys. When you do your comic version of the 2012 Dread and you did all those colours horrendously. Why did you put straight lines? Dread has never had straight lines. So that's how you do the uh, lightning flashes. And there's no excuse to say it's awkward because there's not much room there, but they managed to get them in. And this costs a hell of a lot less than you, your, your, your price. This is $80. Uh, the postage anywhere in the world was 20, well, was it anywhere in the world? I can't remember, it was $25 to the UK. Uh, so that's a pretty good price for this to arrive. Um, very light. Got a nice feel to it, nicely detailed. You've got um, depth to the, the painting, a bit of weathering on the belt. Uh, you see on the eagle there, top onto his shoulder, the feathers are shown. Uh, there's even a bit more feathering on the inside, just inside you can see. You probably can't see on the detail here. But um, yeah, I'm very impressed with this. Uh, there's a few more links to his chain there but we forgive him because that was the that's the style of the individual artist obviously seven is the magic number uh yeah i know people before we go up people saying oh i don't like the bell i uh, don't like the eagle this is a bit bit big but it, it is mcmahon style this is just like get the comic open it up and it's popping out the page because it is from an actual design uh, picture that we've seen beforehand um i can't fault it very nice um, I've seen that people are putting up their surprise how big it was and I thought well didn't you actually read the measurements of the figure I mean the box was impressive um, but yeah I'm well impressed with that it's definitely worth getting if you, if you can get a chance to get one I don't know if it was a pre-order and that was it but um, I would definitely recommend it for the ladies gratuitous arse shot there we are look at that look at those firm cheeks yeah and for the men that are just shining his helmet. Yeah, so there we are, I would recommend. Oh, and just to prove, obviously, because I might have a strange sized head and a body and everything, that's why I bought the pint glass. There he is. That's how big he is compared to a pint glass. Mm, yes, why not? So, to all you droppers out there, stay tuned for the next episode when I review either a piece of tat or something that's really exciting. Bye for now.